Now welcome back to another conquest guide video. All that I ask, I'm going to show you guys the rewards in the next clip. All that I ask is that you let the video play out, you put it on mute in the background somewhere, just give me some watch time, give me some love. That's all I'm asking you for. Now we're doing the east first. There is a goal that you are required to complete before turn three, and that is to go ahead and capture one enemy stronghold before turn three. It can be whichever enemy stronghold you would like to. Now before we even get into conquest, make sure you hit that like button or subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and inside the description box you get how to become a member, social media links, as well as my other YouTube channels. Make sure you guys go ahead and support all of it, become members of loyalty, and I don't mean member as a member subscription, but by subscribing and being a part of this fan base this family that we have built together but without further ado let's get into conquest together wherever you see STND that means you are getting a singular standard pack wherever you see HL that means it's headliners in specific two and then BLLN means it's a ball and is a habit pack make sure you keep that in mind as you go ahead and capture all of these hexagons you do not need to face any stronghold in order to get these hidden rewards as there were no strongholds that offered hidden rewards at the end of the day so the closest team to us is actually the tampa bay rays so what i want everyone to go ahead and do is what we would do normally we're gonna go ahead and attack this three million territory and we're gonna continue on restarting until we get the perfect simulation so for example here the perfect simulation would be we stay at 12 million if we stay at 12 million there and we continue going down the perfect simulation would allow us to reach the stronghold at 11 million fans and attack them there so i want you all to continue restarting until that occurs so literally on my third attempt i was able to get it done we're gonna go ahead and face the tampa bay rays on veteran difficulty put your fifth best starting pitcher if you would like to on veteran difficulty it's pretty easy but if it's any higher difficulty or one where you struggle at, put your fifth best starting pitcher in terms of overall because that places then their fifth best starting pitcher in terms of overall and gives you an enormous advantage. Now after conquering the Tampa Bay Rays, we're gonna go ahead and skip the steal fans phase because it is no longer needed. We don't need to steal fans for any of the goals. We're gonna go straight into reinforce and we're gonna make our way directly towards the Miami Marlins. We're gonna grab all of the fans we had at the previous stronghold, move it all the way to the new leading territory, which is going to be this one. But at the same time, let's count the spaces. One, two, each spot has to take two spaces, and these are probably the best two spaces to take since they are going to be free towards the Miami Marlins. Never mind, I lied. It seems that the Miami Marlins were playing no games and they wanted to get in front of us one way or the other. Hopefully, we have some good simulations and we can get there with at least 5 million fans, I would say. That is the ideal number to face them on all-star difficulty. 4 million probably faces them on all-star difficulty as well. And then probably 3 million. But once you get to 2 million, it's probably only Hall of Fame and Legend. And then at 1 million, it probably is Hall of Fame and Legend as well. Here we get to face them on all-star difficulty, which shouldn't be too hard fifth pitcher if any after we capture the miami marlins we're gonna go straight after the toronto blue jays or the nationals whichever one of the two you would like to go after you can go because it doesn't matter anymore either side is going to give the same outcome so i counted and it's five basically spaces towards both we're going to be able to simulate right here hopefully stay at five million but if we drop I'm fine with it as long as we don't drop too heavily, which we didn't. Nine versus four, it's gonna give us a Hall of Fame game. I'm gonna go ahead and play this Hall of Fame game, but if you're not comfortable playing a game on Hall of Fame, I would just suggest you to go ahead and skip to the Steel Fans phase. Once you're there, you skip to the Reinforce phase. Reinforce that leading territory, skip the move fans face, and then attack them, and it will be at an easier difficulty. Depending on which side you went after first, you just flip the script and you do the same thing. We're gonna go right after the next closest territory, which is going to be the New York Yankees. Now, a mistake I did that you guys can correct is while going from this stronghold over to the Blue Jays, you can instead jump over here, therefore making it shorter to get to the Yankees. Here, we're gonna have to take an extra territory in order to get to the Yankees. So we're gonna skip to the Steel Fans phase, and then we're gonna skip to Reinforce. I felt like an accent of some sort started kicking in for me. And then we're gonna move all of the fans that we have left over, which is three million, not too much, 
over here and we're most likely not going to be able to face the yankees on anything less than hall of fame difficulty in particular because i believe that that four million fan is going to attack as soon as we get up there so let's see if i'm wrong we got three million fans it's definitely going to be hall of fame and we finally see the first hidden reward of the map so yes it is going to be hall of fame difficulty i'm going to play it out you guys have the opportunity to just go ahead and of course reinforce right there and try to get it at an easier difficulty. Now that we have captured the yankees this is going to be a very crucial stronghold especially if you are exactly following my steps and if you're flipped it's going to be with the mets you have 2 million fans here and they have 4 million fans here. You cannot allow these 4 million fans to take over the rest of your territories. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attempt to at least weaken them just a bit before they have an opportunity to attack the 1 million territory. And unfortunately, we were unable to do that, but that is fine because now we will go ahead and put all of our reinforcements into that territory, skip to attack and attack that 4 million territory. The reason why we need to take care of that 4 million territory is I'm almost positive that 4 million territory can actually attempt to attack our stronghold, making us play an extra game. And who wants to play extra games in Conquest? Now, closest territory next to us, or stronghold I should say, is going to be the New York Mets. So we skip to reinforce, get 8 million fans over here, and then we do the same thing we did against the Yankees. Now we might have an opportunity of facing them on Hall of Fame difficulty, depending on how these simulations go. And once again, if you do not feel comfortable doing that, then feel free to just reinforce, face them at whatever difficulty it is that you are comfortable doing. I'm gonna go ahead and face them on Hall of Fame. Now, similar to when we faced the Yankees, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna attempt to weaken down that four, even though it is very unlikely that we do. Just attacking them might prevent them from attacking us, and it allows us to skip to that steel fans phase, where there we get to reinforce this territory in order to prevent them from moving over and trying to attack our stronghold, forcing us to play an extra game. And look at that, we did it beautifully. We got a hidden reward right there, that's the second hidden reward. And now the next closest territory to us is going to be the Washington Nationals. So we're gonna go straight after the Washington Nationals, move the nine million fans all the way down to that 10 million. And with 18 million fans, you can almost rest assured that you're gonna get to the Nationals without having to stress yourself out over playing it on Hall of Fame difficulty or Legend difficulty, or even having to reinforce one more time in order to face it at an easier difficulty, unless it is that you struggle on all-star difficult in this situation it doesn't matter where you go next because both the boston red sox and the philadelphia phillies are at equal lengths what i would do is i would look at whether the philadelphia phillies or the boston red sox have more fans around them and it seems like the phillies have a couple more fans than the red sox around them so you're gonna skip the steel fans you're gonna then go to reinforce and once you do reinforce you want to reinforce that leading territory that is closest to them so it's going to be this territory right here for us and we're going to move all these fans that we just used to capture that territory down here and make a beeline towards the boston red sox and we're going to do our best to not get too close to that territory two and three million that they have which is on their left side we're going to go right after the territory where the two million is near them now hopefully you don't lose a lot of fans through these simulations as they should be pretty easy but usually the ones with 1 million fans are the hardest ones to beat for some odd reason in conquest but that's just how life is so right here you see that there's 2 million and 3 million to the left of that 1 million fan we're not going to go after that one instead we're going to go after this one that way this 1 million fan will always be blocking these from being able to attack us and the two million fan on the other side that's fine because even if they do some way somehow end up facing us we would be able to take it back without an issue the boston red sox attacked us and were able to drop us down all the way to two million fans now we could go ahead and attempt to face them on legend difficulty but i'd rather not take the chance the other two million fan tried to attack us and actually ended up failing so that's even better for us 
but the downside is the two million on that side did get a little bit stronger we're gonna go ahead and face the boston red sox on all-star difficulty and hopefully beat them without an issue either now that we went ahead and beat the boston red sox i have to change my camera angle really quickly because now we're on our way towards the boston orioles i want you guys to take care of these two million fans and whatever fans are around your territory if you went against the phillies instead you want to take care of them because soon enough they're gonna try to attack your one million fan territory since we weren't able to have a one million fan block them off and if they're able to surround you you're gonna have to play an extra stronghold game now this is already 10 stronghold games so why in the world would you put yourself through the pain of playing an extra one now be very careful here you're gonna see that we decide not to attack this 1 million territory because we don't want this 4 million territory to attack us. Instead, I'm willing to go right here, attack this 1 million territory, and then make a straight beeline towards the Baltimore Orioles. So we attack this one, then we attack this one, and then we're going to get a reinforced phase. And that reinforced phase hopefully will be straight enough to get to the Baltimore Orioles. That 9 million fan territory is most likely going to attack us as well. I'm not going to lie to you all and that will be fine it turned into 10 million although but once again that will be fine if we have really good simulations we might even be able to face the orioles on veteran difficulty now pay attention once again you don't want to get this territory because you don't want the four million to have a chance of attacking you we're gonna be well actually if we decide to continue a path where we just go straight up like this we will never get near that 10 million territory therefore preventing them from even having the opportunity of attacking us even though this 1 million territory is kicking our butt right here we go after the 4 million the 3 million is most likely gonna attack if we beat this successfully and then the Baltimore Orioles stronghold is most likely gonna attack as well so we're prepared for that we got ourselves two headliners they didn't attack all right so we can face them on Hall of Fame I'm gonna go ahead and take care of them on Hall of Fame and then I'll come back to you now I don't want to attack the 10 million so instead what I'm gonna do is skip to the steel fans phase I'm gonna reinforce right here and then reinforce the most that I possibly can in order to take out these three territories on the Baltimore Orioles that would without a doubt have a great opportunity of making me play an extra stronghold game by them circling me in and then having that 10 million territory force me to play on legend difficulty in order to attempt to beat it look at that right after we went ahead and took the 10 million territory they came back and captured basically that other territory we had available so we would have decided for some odd reason just to move the fans over to towards the previous stronghold of i believe the washington nationals then that would have allowed them to attack us make us play an extra stronghold game and if we lost it would have been the worst thing because that means two extra stronghold games since we would have had to go ahead and capture that stronghold back now with that five million territory i don't feel like there's any need for me to be over there anymore so instead we're going to start moving our way towards the philadelphia phillies and we're going to do that pretty easily we're going to move these five million fans all the way over to this territory right here because i do believe that this has a much easier path than the other two since the five and eight million fans that they have at the bottom i see that they are closer to those territories this allows us to angle our way towards the two million or more than anything along those lines and you guys might not be able to see that 100 percent right here so i'll move the camera over to this side and no matter how you look at things you're gonna have to end up facing five million fans from the philadelphia phillies as well as eight million fans so i'd rather go after that two million first and then take the stronghold and then go from within there whichever way we have to go in order to prevent them from forcing us to play an extra stronghold game and after that we only got one territory left don't drop us down crazy Oh, they dropped us down to 10 all-star difficulty game that's perfect for us let's do now this. in this situation i wish i could tell you choose wisely but you can't choose wisely here and that's just me being completely honest you're gonna have to take care of this 5 million this 8 million this 3 million this 5 million and then you're gonna have to take care of this 5 million this 8 million as well so let's start it off with the left hand side hopefully we can knock out this 5 million pretty easily if we don't it's perfectly fine we'll just reinforce and we'll go from there on out so another headliner and now as you can see 
the 4 million is trying to get to us so they can circle in our territory. So we don't want to take the risk of attacking the 3 or the 4 and then leaving only one territory there. The 8 million still go ahead and attack us. And then look, as I say, it forces you to play a damn stronghold game. So how can you prevent this from happening, you might be wondering. What you could do is, once you capture the stronghold, Depending on how many fans you have there, you just leave them there. You don't go and try to attack any of those territories. Instead, you just reinforce that stronghold, even if you have to do it once or twice, a couple of times, until the stronghold is strong enough to go and basically wipe out all those territories from within its reach. Once you do that, you'll be good to go right on to the Braves. But unfortunately for us, we're going to have to defend the stronghold on legend. Now we beat them on legend difficulty and we got extremely lucky that then their 7 million fans decided to go up towards our previous territory and not trying to attack us once again. So now we are covered by 1 million fan territories. This 8 million fan can't get to us. So it was a blessing in disguise if we really think about it. Now to finish this off, we're not even worried about that stronghold anymore. Excuse me because 1 million fan territories can no longer attack so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a beeline straight towards the Atlanta Braves get to the Atlanta Braves and once we are there we are going to be officially done with this conquest map in terms of strongholds and all we'll have to focus on is just getting all the hidden rewards and this video will be up and running and we'll start working on the central right after so hopefully some very good simulations come our way now that I know for sure that the 12 million is going to be willing to attack and all of that, I'm going to be extremely careful and I'm not going to attack that 4 million fan territory. I'm actually not even going to get near it until I know for sure I got enough fans to go ahead and back me up no matter what. So we're going to reinforce right here at the 6, give ourselves 19 million fans, which should be more than enough to go ahead and and attack this five and four or attack the four and then go right after the stronghold we're gonna try to attack the four and go right after the stronghold if that works out for us we're gonna be in really good hands here so it seems like it is gonna work out for us 22 versus 20 million a game on all-star difficulty i'll take that and then we'll go after the five million fans or we might not even move any fans from the stronghold we'll see so whenever you do capture the atlanta braves now with 21 million fans i would highly suggest you go after that 12 million and get it out of the way as soon as possible and then do your best to reinforce and capture the rest of these territories but all you gotta do is capture the territories and you'll be straight if you did end up enjoying today's content please make sure to hit that like button or subscribe button turn on the notification bell in the description box you get my social media links how to become a member of the channel and my other youtube channels make sure you guys go ahead and support all of them to become members of loyalty have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed i'll catch you all in the next